Hi, and welcome to Fodzyme. My name is Angie. I'm one of the founders of Fodzyme and a FODMAP sensitive person myself. Several years ago, I started developing the product with a team of scientists to create a solution for my food intolerances. Today, we've built a community of tens of thousands of users, and our team is dedicated to supporting each and every new user with tailored guidance to set you up for success. If you've ever undergone a strict elimination diet or just removed foods from your diet via trial and error, you likely possess appreciation for the complexity of food and diet. It can be really overwhelming. You might be wondering, what foods can I eat with Fodzyme? When should I use Fodzyme and how much? Maybe you're still trying to figure out if you're FODMAP sensitive to begin with. In this video, I'll walk you through the fundamental principles to help you apply Fodzyme to your specific needs and goals. Understanding the mechanism behind how the product works is essential because it will help you integrate it into any new situation with versatility and intuition. I will also share some of my personal favorite tips with you. But let's start with the basics real quick. FODMAPs are a family of molecules that commonly trigger GI symptoms. The FODMAP molecules are present in a variety of different foods, typically in just a small portion of the foods. But even in small quantities, they can wreak massive havoc on the gut, especially for folks with gut disorders like irritable bowel syndrome. How much it takes to trigger symptoms can vary from person to person. That depends on your individual tolerance threshold. The symptoms that arise can also manifest differently from person to person. Gas and bloating are common, diarrhea too, but plenty of folks also report constipation, nausea, among other symptoms in response to FODMAPs. Now, FODZYME is symptom agnostic insofar as it's FODMAPs that are the culprit. If FODMAPs and your issues don't at all overlap, then FODZYME would not be able to help. Our objective with FODZYME is to target and break down the trigger molecules in the meals you want to eat, reducing FODMAP intake, hopefully well below your tolerance threshold. FODZYME has three active ingredients, lactase, alpha-galactosidase, and fructin hydrolase. These are three different enzymes that target three different FODMAP groups. Lactase breaks down lactose, alpha-galactosidase, breaks down galacto-oligosaccharides, which is often abbreviated GOS because it's such a mouthful, and fructan hydrolase breaks down fructan. To find a list of common foods that contain these FODMAP groups that Fodzyme works on, we link to a couple of resources below. Every and any enzyme is a protein, a chain of amino acids, and enzymes are especially marvelous proteins. They're specialized ones that are folded up intricately into a particular shape that allows them to facilitate reactions in the presence of certain substances known as substrates. In our case, the substrates are those pesky FODMAP triggers, and the desired reaction is for them to get broken down into simple sugars that can be quickly absorbed so they don't stay in the GI tract to cause trouble. A fitting analogy here is scissors. Fodzyme's three enzymes are like three specialized scissors, one that cuts up fructan, another that chops up GOS, and the third to slice down lactose. They're highly specialized, so one type of scissors only works on one type of FODMAP. One very important principle to remember is that FODZYME works on the food and not on your body. FODZYME's enzymes are intended to only tackle the FODMAPs portion of your meal and nothing else. Again, our goal is to break down and digest the FODMAPs that you know or suspect you have sensitivities to in order to prevent them from getting down to your lower intestines and causing trouble there. So FODZYME works on the food, not on you. And in fact, FODZYME is food too. Remember that enzymes are proteins and your body will digest them as such. They will not remain in your system. Your body produces proteases, enzymes that are specifically designed to digest proteins, so they will snip up Fodzyme's enzymes into their constituent amino acids for you to absorb. I mentioned earlier that enzymes are intricately folded proteins. That particular folded structure determines their function, and so their function also depends on that structure. Once your body starts digesting these enzymes as proteins, which does take time, they can no longer function properly. We need to make the most out of that time. That's why Fodzyme was designed as a powder to integrate directly with food. This gives our enzymes a head start so that they can get distributed in the meal and get to those FODMAP substrates that we want broken down. We talked about how your digestive processes will eventually deactivate and denature the enzymes. 
Another thing to watch out for that will deactivate the enzymes is high heat. So anything above 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. So we don't recommend cooking or baking with Fadzyme. And as a rule of thumb, if it's too hot for you, then it's too hot for Fadzyme. However, once your meal has cooled down to a temperature where you feel comfortable eating, feel free to add Fadzyme then. Also remember that our objective here is just to break down FODMAPs before they reach the lower GI tract where they can cause trouble. Once that objective is reached, it doesn't matter if the enzymes are active or not. Hence, if you've used the pre-incubation method I described earlier, and you've given the enzymes sufficient time to work into the mixture and break down those FODMAPs, then it's totally fine to heat up the puree or sauce or whatever it is because the enzymes have already completed their job. Finally, let's talk about dosing. Fodzyme comes with a standard serving that is the sweet spot for most individuals and the average FODMAP content in meals. That said, sometimes it might make sense to adjust the dosing for best results. The right dosage depends primarily on two factors. Number one, how sensitive you are to a particular FODMAP food, your personal tolerance threshold. And two, how much of that trigger is present in your meal. People who are extra sensitive to a particular food or having a larger meal may want to dose up to two servings or even more of Vodzyme, depending on their circumstances. You may need just a small sprinkle on a light snack or a bite of food. We also hear from users who only need half or even a quarter of the standard serving size. We have some suggestions for determining the right dosing for you. If you already know your FODMAP triggers and can keep your symptoms at least mostly under control by avoiding them, then here's what we recommend. Use one standard dose of Fodzyme with a small amount of the trigger food you're trying to reintroduce. Keep the rest of the meal low FODMAP and give yourself a day or two without introducing additional triggers to see how your body reacts. If you feel great, we recommend repeating the process, this time with a slightly larger portion of the trigger food. If you have a reaction the first time around, then we recommend increasing the dosage or reaching out to a member of our team to help troubleshoot. If you don't know your triggers at all or don't think you know them confidently enough and you're still having GI issues regularly, then we recommend a different approach of starting out with Fodzyme. Use one serving of Fodzyme on every meal for at least a few days and see if that makes a difference. The objective here is to reduce the FODMAP load in your everyday diet and see if that moves the needle in reducing your baseline reactions to the food. During this period, you might want to avoid additional potential triggers like polyols, also known as sugar alcohols, or high fructose foods that Fodzyme does not yet address. Again, you can find a list of foods that Fodzyme works on and does not yet work on in the resources we link to below. I know this might sound like a lot of information to digest, and FODMAPs are certainly not the most straightforward dietary concept. Our team is here for you anytime if you have any questions or want to book time for personalized support. We truly want to help you get the best experience out of Fodzyme and hope that you can reintroduce a lot of delicious and nutritious foods without pain or discomfort. Please let us know how your experience with Fodzyme goes, and thank you so much for joining us.